DJ, DJ, DJ Eric J. In other news, Raz B's ex-girlfriend that came out, okay? Have y'all heard about that? Raz B's ex-girlfriend came out basically saying that um, Raz B attacked her and raped her and everything. Oh, art her um, and everything on her TikTok. I actually seen the video myself. Um, and it's very, very disturbing. And it's basically her calling um, Raz B out. And a lot, Raz B has been getting a lot of, you know, news coverage because he was calling out his abuser on um all these social media platforms and stuff like that and he actually was on jason lee talking about his abu abuser which is his manager you guys could look up and, and see who he's accusing i know that the person that he's accused um is known for attacking certain platforms or trying to get lawyers involved for them discussing his thing so you guys go look up um who allegedly sexually assaulted rasby and you'll know who i'm talking about but anyway he's been on his own press tour lately basically trying to bring justice he said he's working on a documentary to bring justice to the person who allegedly assaulted him and meanwhile, his ex-girlfriend is coming out basically saying that Rasby hired her, um, beat her up so bad that she was in the hospital, purposely impregnated her, which would mean she, he hired her, um, causing an pregnancy that she did not want. Um, and, you know, it's, yeah. I mean, I could pre play some of it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to play it real quick. Y'all can hear it. Um, I don't think that they're going to copyright strike me for this because it ain't music. It's just the person talking. I'm going to play this real quick and y'all can hear this. What's up? The thing that your ex did to you. I'll go first. First he gave me a black eye and I told everyone I did it to protect him. Then he strangled me in a parking lot where he said he was going to kill me. I have a assault that just came in the pending outside the Macy's ramp of female being assaulted by someone inside the ramp on the ground level. He was strangling her and the caller couldn't give any information on the description. And I didn't press charges because I thought it was all my fault. He put a large down payment on a car, apologized, and said he would never do it again. I was afraid of him, and I didn't know how to get away. Until finally, he held me down, had sex with me against my will, impregnated me, put me in the hospital, and I finally had the courage to get away from him. Alright, so if you guys, you guys heard that audio, and, um, yeah, man, it's just messed up. Like, it's crazy, and, um... You know, I don't even know what to say. Like, if Brasby did this, he should be held accountable. The same way that he's trying to hold his alleged um, attacker and molester, m worder our, you know, it's certain words I can't say um, on YouTube. But the same way he wants to be um, named as a victim, of course, he and was being victimized. Um, and he wants that person to be held accountable or whatever he wants done. Um, he should also be held accountable too. I think he actually said that he did, you know, attack or hurt, um, his ex before I, I, I remember him mentioning that. Um, but it wasn't as vague in the detail as this woman is making with these allegations. And, um, the whole thing to me is just disturbing. Okay. Um, it's nothing okay about forcing yourself onto somebody and purposely impregnating them and doing whatever this lady is alleging that Rathby did. Um, like I said, this is all allegation. And just to be clear, everybody, all the stories on here, I say allegation, allegedly, all that other stuff because I got to protect the brand. Um, I can't just be saying everything is being said is factual, but this is according to what this woman is saying, okay? And according to her, she was hurt by him, and he did those things allegedly to her. So y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Um, it's crazy. It's freaking crazy. DJ, DJ, DJ Eric, Eric.